Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today I will be presenting and sharing my uh, part of my findings that I have presented in AQG International Algebra Seminar AIS 2024 on 25th June 2024. Um, so my findings entitled Eccentric Connectivity Index of the Power Graph for Dihedral Groups, a case of bromine pentafluoride. So my name is Nuri Daibinti Alimun. So this is my joint work with Professor Dr. Nahaniza Samin, Dr. Nabila Najmudin from USM, Mr. Ghazali, and also Ms. Nur Ain Adriana Muhammad Rizal. So this is my presentation outline. I will start with uh, some introduction of topological indices. So there are many types of topological index um, in the study, but uh, this presentation only focus on one type of topological index. So graph associated to groups, so some introduction on molecule, bromine pentafluoride, results and discussion, conclusion, future recommendations, um, references, and lastly, acknowledgement. Okay, so basically, uh, the term topological index is comes from chemistry field. So from a molecule in the chemistry field, so we uh, actually can convert into the graph in graph theory. So in order to know the, in order to know or predict the physical properties of the molecules, we need to convert the information that contains in the molecules into some numerical characteristics. So topological index is one of the numerical characteristics that we can uh, compute. So topological indices provide numerical descriptors that capture important structure features of molecules. So they serve as powerful tools for the analysis and also prediction of various types of physical chemical properties and biological activities. Um, so the significance of topological indices lies in the ability to transform complex molecular structures into numerical representation, enabling the development of computational models and the efficient exploration of chemical space for various applications in drug discovery, material science, and reaction chemistry. So uh, topological index has many applications. Uh, so normally people use on drug discovery, material science, and reaction chemistry, and actually many more. And various types of topological indices have been developed based on their chemistry or mathematical perspectives. So there are many types of topological indices that have been introduced so far. Um, so the first type of topological index have been introduced by Harold Wiener in, <laughs> in 1947, called as Wiener Index. And then we have Zagreb Index introduced in 1972, Randing Index, Harold Index, Zagreb Index, in 1997, eccentric connectivity index. So in this particular presentation, I will focus on eccentric connectivity index. So, but until today, there, there are actually many types of topological in, indices and researchers are still introduce new types of topological index. So for example, so we have recently, uh, even government has um, introduced a new topological index, which is called Asambur Index. So um, topological index can be divided into two types. So first is degree-based topological index, and second is distance-based topological index. So some of the topological index focus on only degree-based. Some of the winner, some of the topological index focus on the distance-based. But for eccentric connectivity index, so the formula contains degree-based and also distance. So we need to know the degree, we need to know the distance of the graphs in order to cal calculate or compute the eccentric connectivity index. So in this study, the eccentric connectivity index of the power graph related to the dihedral groups is determined. So this is the definitions of Wiener index, the first type of topological index. So we have this formula. So we need to use this formula in order to find the Wiener index. So this is introduced by Wiener in 1947. So in that research, the winner number of some paraffins are determined and their boiling points are also predicted. In 1997, Sharma et al. introduced the eccentric connectivity index that I called as ECI. And they found that ECI has a good correlation coefficient ranging from 95 to 99% with regard to the physical properties of diverse nature. And in addition, ECI has also the high has the highest predictability of the order of 86% compared to the Wiener index. So these are the reasons why people are keep are using eccentric connectivity index until today. So the definition eccentric connectivity index is defined as the summation of i is equal to one until n eccentric 
eccentricity of i times degree of i. So i is actually the vertex of the graph. So ei is actually the eccentricity of the vertex i or a maximum distance between vertex i with other vertices in the graph. And then we have degree i. So as for example, uh, so we look at the figure two, which is a, a simple connected graph. So a simple connected graph means that there are no directions uh, on the graph and then no self loops. Okay, so we have the vertex, uh, vertices one, two, three, four, and five. So uh, in order to know the eccentric, in order to compute the eccentric connectivity index, we need to determine the degree, the degree and also the eccentricity. So we need to know the degree of each uh, vertex in the graph. So we have five vertex. So we need to know each vertex of the degree of each vertex. So degree one, we have three. So since um, there are three edges connected to, uh, attached to ver vertex one. So vertex two, we have degree two. Vertex four, we have degree four. Vertex five, we have degree one. Vertex three, we have degree two. As for the eccentricity, so this is the table. So we have vertex one until five. So one, uh, with one, so the distance uh, from the vertex one to vertex one, we have zero. So because it is simple connected graph, so one until two, we have one since uh, they are adjacent to each other. So one until three is also one. So we look at one to five. So vertex one to vertex five, they are not connected to each other or adjacent to each other. So the maximum dis the distance will would be two. So the eccentricity of vertex one, we will um, find the maximum distance. So we have zero, we have one, and so we have two. So eccentricity of one we have uh, is equals to two. So, so same goes to the other eccentricity of the other vertices of the graph. So by substitution, uh, substituting uh, all the details that we have found, uh, eccentricity and also the degree, so we will compute and calculate it as is equals to 20. So uh, in the context of chemistry, graphs are often used to represent molecular structures where the atoms of the molecule correspond to the vertices and the bonds between them correspond to the edges. So this is the way um, people usually convert uh, the graph in the chemistry field to the graph in the uh, graph theory. So graph theory provides a rich set of mathematical tools for analyzing the properties of the graph including the degree distribution, clustering coefficients, diameter, and many others. By applying these tools to the graph of a molecule, researchers can gain insights into its topological properties and predict its behavior in various chemical or physical contexts. So this is definition for the power graph. So a power graph is an undirected graph denoted as gamma, where two distinct vertices x and y are adjacent if they are the power of one another. So for some positive integer, I. So this study focuses on the power graph of the dice additives. <laughs> so this is the result that have been found by previous research, um, previous researcher. So um, she generalized uh, the, di the power graph of the dihydrate group. So we already have the general generalizations of the graph. So KH means uh, the uh, subgroup of the dihydrate groups and it is represent the complete graph. So we have E here, the identity, and then we have the other element, B, A, B, A squared B until A to the power of alpha minus 1, B. So um, she has also found the generalization of the degree of the vertex. So if we have degree E, so we have E, the degree is 2 alpha minus 1. If we have degree a to the power of i, the degree is alpha minus 1. So a i b, the degree is equals to 1. So this is the group presentation. <laughs> and we only focus on the non-abelian group. So that's why alpha is more than or equals to 3. Okay, so this is the bromine pentafluoride. And then... Um, the, this is the main finding. So eccentric connectivity index of power graph for dihydrate groups. So let gamma be the power graph of the dihydrate groups D2 alpha. Then the eccentric connectivity index of gamma ECI is equal to 2 alpha squared plus 1, where alpha more than or equals to 3. So basically, we use the uh, 
um, results from the uh, previous researcher. Uh, we have proposition one and also proposition two. So ba based on the graph of the power graph of the hydrate group, we have KH, which is the complete graph. And then uh, since AI is not adjacent to the vertices AJB, so we can conclude that the eccentricity of AI is equals to two. So when we have the um, when we have the element that has uh, that is not adjacent to the other vertex, so we can conclude that the maximum distance is equals to two. So if the element is adjacent to all other vertices, so the eccentricity is equals to one. So like vertex E, so since vertex is Vertex E is adjacent to all other vertices, so uh, the eccentricity is equal to 1. So by definition 1 and also proposition 2, we substitute into the formula of the ECI, and then we will get to alpha squared plus 1. <laughs> so next part is the eccentric connectivity index of bromine pentafluoride. So there are a few steps that we need to follow. First, we need to determine the point group of bromine pentafluoride and then determine the order of its point group. Check the isomorphism of its point group and the dihedral groups of the same order. If they are isomorphic, compute the ECI of bromine pentafluoride by using theorem 1. So basically, we have the generalizations of theorem 1, eccentric connectivity index of the power graph of the dihedral group. So we want to use that generalization in order to find or to compute the ECI of bromine pentafluoride. And then we need to follow these all steps first. All right, according to Abdurrahman, uh, she already found the point group of the bromine pentafluoride. So actually, point group, we have so many types of point groups. So, but I will not go detail in, uh, in this presentation on each types of the point groups. So, but for the point group of bromine pentafluoride, we have C4V. So it is, it is actually the combination of the elements uh, that has refraction and also rotation. So we have E, C4, so C4, is the rotation of 360 divided by 4, which is 90 degree. So rotation of 90 degree, rotation of 180, rotation of 270. And then we have the uh, symmetric, uh, symmetry plane, uh, V1, so which is the vertical plane within, um, in between the F2 and also F4. So the D1 is the diagonal one. So it is a vertical plane for the diagonal plane. And then this is the Kelly table of C4V. So this is the elements of C4V. This is the elements of C4V. So when C4 uh, times C4, so that when C4 times C4 squared, that's mean the element C4, the molecule C4, we rotate with 180 degrees. So we will get C4 cubed. So same other, same with the other um elements in C4V. So this is the Cayley table. So from the Cayley table of C4V and also the hydro groups of order 8, we, we can find the order of each element. So this is the order of each element in D8 and also C4V. And then um, we check the isomorphism, either the uh, sigma is 1 to 1 or on and on 2 or not. So <laughs> So based on the order of the elements of the hydro groups of order 8 and also uh, the point group of C4V, so we can conclude that uh, it is 1 to 1 and also on 2. So check the homomorphism. So the homomorphism is uh, the phi um, rho 90 times rho 180 is equals to phi rho 270, which is equals to this uh, C4 cube, the elements in the point group. So when we have a phi rho 90 times phi rho 180, so we can get C4 cube. So it is the same. So when it is the same, we check for all, and then we can conclude that it is homomorphism. So to satisfy, it is satisfy the homomorphism property. Then we conclude that um, phi is an isomorphism. So D8 is isomorphic to uh, the point group of C4V. So when uh, we can, when we conclude the, uh, it is actually isomorphic between the group and also uh, the molecule. So we can use theorem one. So 
uh, C for V and also D8 is um, order of 8. So the group is order of 8. And alpha is equal to 4. So we just use uh, the theorem 1. And then substitute alpha is equal to 4. We can get uh, the topological index, uh, which is the eccentric negativity index, is, is, is equal to 33. So as for conclusion, the eccentric connectivity index of the power graph associated to the Tahada groups is determined. And then we can uh, we can compute uh, the uh, ECI of Brown and of long right by using theorem 1. And then uh, the higher the order of the groups, the higher the value of the topological indices. So the general formulas of the topological indices can be used to help chemists and biologists to predict the chemical and physical properties of the molecules by developing a mathematical model. So basically, if you want to use the generalization or theorem one, so we need to um, develop another mathematical model that has the uh, topological index as the parameter in, this, in that model. So we can use the topological index um, to predict any physical properties. So this is some recommendations and the list of references. So that's all from me. Thank you.